What's up guys? Day number, what is it, 25? Uh, as mentioned before, as mentioned in the last video, I'm recording these on a bit of a backlog. I'm trying to get ahead of schedule. Uh, currently, just with load management and everything, um, it's just been so hard to edit videos the same day that I record them because, you know, just getting them from my phone to, to the computer and all that stuff, it's very complicated. And uh, the fact that I'm in this rural Brazilian beach town, which has very poor internet, is not helping the situation. So, alas, uh, I'm recording this currently on June, what day is today? It's June 12th? June 12th or June 11th? June 12th. I'm recording this on June 12th. I think this is going to be released on June 16th. I'm getting a little ahead of schedule so that on day number 30, I'm going to be extremely well prepared to hit the ground running. Anyway, it's time to go. Let's get into this. Let's play some games. We got to do this thing. All right. And, uh, yeah, there's some things that literally will never change. Uh, <laughs> as y'all can imagine, I did not change my volume. Who is C63 AMG? I know most of Canadian players do not know this guy. Looks like we got a bird aboard. All right. That's fine. Almost everyone at this level has some bird envy. Okay, we're playing American Patzer. Whom is this? That's not what I wanted to know. Okay, he has no name. We're gonna get two bird bird aborts in a row? Is this really how they're gonna do me? Okay, good. Someone has the courage to face the bird. All right. I got this yesterday. Technically, it was today, technically, but I got this yesterday according to, uh, according to the videos with Yakov. Um, here we could definitely go for a stone wall. Yeah, let's go for it. I like the stone wall setup a lot. You play c4. Knight c3, bishop d3. Uh, a good rule of thumb is that you just don't want to go for this if they, they can get c7, c5 in. But because he already invested a move on c6, it's not like I'm really risking anything here. Um, let me play knight c3. I like that move a lot. If knight f6 I take and I hit him, okay, I'm going to take and hit him with bishop b5. This is going to be painful. He better brace for impact. Things, things are about to get really, really serious for him. I think if he takes here, can I take on c6? I want to take on c6 really badly. Takes on c6, knight d5, takes on b7. I'm threatening bishop b5. He could cover it with queen a5 check. I block bishop d2, and then his rook and queen are both hanging. Okay, yeah. Nice, I can do it. Knight e4, all right. What is his plan here? I'm... Oh, he plays there. Yikes. <sighs> Completely forgot about that. Oh, that's painful. Okay, King D1, not the end of the world. <laughs> not the end of the world, people. You just can't. I completely missed that. I got so excited there. I thought I was doing a Hikaru. I thought I was hitting him with a Hikaru. Some Hikaru magic, but uh, alas, it was no Hikaru magic. Um, okay, here, how am I going to play this? I want to play bishop a... No, bishop a6 is not the, the right way. g4 also could be interesting. The problem with g4 is he plays knight c3 and he hits my queen. I'll play... Okay, I'll play rook f1. I'm going to have to play g4 next. It's not ideal, but we're going to have to make do with what we got, people. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I just hang the pieces. All right. g4. Let's go. Let's get into it. I'm just throwing my pawns forward. He better... He better come up with something. Should I offer him the draw? No, I want to win. Regardless of what the evaluation is here, I want to win. I don't, I don't want to draw. I don't want some measly draw. Okay, what is his plan here? Okay, H1? That could not... What is the idea with that? That is a sneaky... That is such a sneaky idea. But it doesn't work. I just take... Knight c3, I play king c2, I'm out of the way. I got out the way. No pin. No pin, no problem. I feel that, yeah, as I, as, as I record more and more of these videos, I just am becoming more and more of a meme. Uh, okay, that is an insane move. If I take here, does he have a check? He does have a check. What is, 
What is going on here? How does someone find these moves? All right, bishop d2. Yo, what is his plan here? Yeah, he could sake here, but I, I think he's running out of checks. He's only got so many checks. No, look at this. Takes, 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 queen a5, and I think he's mating. But I can go back. I can go back, and it looks like... Looks like things are okay. I hope the uh, I hope the sound is good. I'm more or less yelling, but I have I have the mic set to such a reduction that um, only my neighbors are going to be complaining, not not y'all. This is going to sound like normal normal classic bird audio. All right. Uh, wait, can I take here? What if I take here immediately? Because queen queens are hanging. No, he takes here and. This is wild. Okay, I'll, I'll take. He takes here. And I play this. King takes c3. That This is a minefield. This is a complete minefield, people. This is what you get when you play the bird, though, I have to say. like, For those of you who like these positions, just get my bird course when, <laughs> when it comes out. When uh, after millions of years it comes out. Okay, can I play king c2? This, this is just completely wild. He's going to play queen c4, and then I start checking him. I could just pre-move this pretty much. But I shouldn't pre-move. Technically, he could play queen d8. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he wasn't going to play queen d8. What type of crazy move is that? Um, all right, queen b7. He can't block with the queen because then I trade and I take the rook. All right, I'm going to start by picking up some pawns. Pick up some of the goodies. What is happening here? Can I play rook c1? Do I really have the gall to play rook c1 here? Okay, let me, I, man, I wanna. All right. I think, I'm, I think I was losing if I went for anything more, uh, unfortunately. What an insane game. Completely insane game. This guy is very tactical. It's too bad he doesn't have the uh, the honor to put his name on his account. Like, really, come on. We're all gentlemen here. Put your name on your account. Show your face. Duel like a gentleman. Okay, here we play c4. Knight c3, they could play e5, and we play e3, and things get really wild here. e5 and bishop d3, I've been over this. That's like, that, that is like the really gratifying thing about this bird course, is that literally all of these variations I've looked at now. Almost every single one I've looked at. Uh, do I play knight h4 here? There's another game I had where I played knight h4, and that game just that game was completely bananas. Um, I could also play e4. I like queen c2. Let's keep the pressure up. Uh, okay, d5. Man, d5 could be interesting, but d5 d5 is a little spicy. Knight h4, I don't think knight h4, knight f5 could be correct now anymore. I'll put the bishop on d2. I'm probably going to play e4 next, but maybe if I was going to play e4, my bishop should have come to e3. All right, I'll just do it anyway. Hopefully this isn't that bad. There's there's no immediate pin here. d5, uh, okay. Yeah, he's going for the pin. Bishop c5, I play knight e2. Everything, everything is okay still. Relax, people. It's going to be fine. Okay. Um, let me take. This looks great. I'm just up a pawn here for nothing. I guess he could take and then play c5, but... No, this this can't be good. Let's get out of the, let's get out of the way. Oh, no, no, no. He's gonna, he wants to fix his knight with knight f6. I'll just play king h1, actually. Knight f6, I play queen f5. All right, now my knight gets out. Knight gets out. This should be fantastic. He has too many pieces on the board. Ah, oh, the bird. The bird is the most exhilarating opening in all of chess. Okay, here, he's really asking for it. This is this is getting wildly uncomfortable for him. It's not looking good for him, people. <laughs> for the moment, he's still holding on, but man, just this this does not look fun at all for him. Um, all right, let's play f5. 
I'm trying to justify this knight here. My knight might come to g4. Um, okay, queen g4 I like. I'm threatening queen g5. I'm also threatening knight f7. Knight g4 would have also worked. Um, can I play knight f7 now? Yeah, let's play knight f7. Let's see what he's up to. Ooh. Ooh. There's some, there's some things in chess that you almost don't feel comfortable doing to someone else. It's just too, too graphic. Too merciless. Pushing this queen back and a take, knight f6, and game should be over here. This guy's getting birded. Let's go, everyone. It's time to go. Okay. Uh, do I have... Is there really anything to think about here? No. Let me just take. I'll take this way. I'm going to take next. It's just a disaster for him. An unmitigated disaster for him. This queen... No, don't do that, buddy. All right. Rook d1. I like rook d1. No knight d7. <laughs> no tricks. Oh, God. This is just such a bad position. This is such this is just such an atrocious position for him. There are like a hundred things that are wrong with his position here. Um alright, just rookie six. This is crazy. He cannot move a muscle. Somehow or another he still survived. Like to his credit he has survived this far, which is is a testament to his character. Okay, rook c seven. Seems like he's playing. What what's that game that uh what's the game that? Sorry, I just I'm I'm not speaking English anymore. I'm too excited to be winning this game. But uh, yeah, what is that game that we play as kids? That's called uh like where you have to arrange the trucks and you're just trying to get one truck out. Is it called log jam or something? Traffic jam? Let me know in the comments. That's what his position reminds me of. It's very uncomfortable for him. Okay, queen e4, queen e6, queen e7. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Check, check. And then check, and this is mate. Nice. Nice. Back, back on the come up. 28-43. Okay, chess brainiac on Twitch. Is that, what is that, North Korea? Eswatini, I don't know what country that is. I'd be lying if I said I knew what country that is. All right, we got a very interesting, uh... oh, this is that line. I can never remember this line. Yeah, and then they play queen d2, b4, and knight e2, and yeah, this is like really topical nowadays. Everyone has been playing this, this variation. It's really wild stuff. Uh. What the move is here, though? I'll need to look into this. Uh, to this line's credit, to this line's credit, this is not even covered in um, in Pavlidis's book because it's just uh, it's such a recent development. Knight f4 is going to be unbelievably uncomfortable. I'll play bishop d6. I'm just going to take the take the knight off the board. I'm going to suffer. Knight e7. I think knight f4 earlier would have been even better for him because it's. Things are looking uncomfortable here, people. Um. Alright, can I play. Queen f6, am I getting trapped? That is the big question. Am I getting trapped or not? Bishop g5, I have queen f2. Bishop d4, I have e5. g5, I have queen f5. And does he have anything there? No. Okay, I'm gonna just. I'm moving over. I'm in very good spirits. Like for someone who's been losing like 50 points, I'm in tremendous spirits. I'm feeling merry. Uh, knight to, yeah, man, this position is wildly uncomfortable. I'm gonna need to, uh, uh-oh, f4, f4, f4. Okay, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to look at this line. This was not a, <laughs> this was not an opening success, people. You're not supposed to lose your queen by move 20. All right. 
knight. Um, he's playing for f5. I'll just play bishop a6. Maybe knight takes e6. Oh, that's what he's going for. Should I offer the draw? No, I can't. I can't do that. I have to be respectful. You gotta respect someone else when they're beating you this badly. Man, this position is unbelievably uncomfortable. Let me play b3. Let's just try to get something here. This is such an uncomfortable position. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't even have anywhere to put my bishop. My bishop has literally nowhere to go. No, you can't be doing this to my bishop. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. My bishop... It, I'm supposed to be the dominating guy. Okay, I'll, I'll resign. I need to look this variation up. This is... Uh, this game I'm really not mad about at all. This was overdue. I just need to look at that variation. That variation, I can't remember any of the theory, and it's it's very spicy. It's like the it's like the black packet at Taco Bell. Taco Bell's got some uh, some medium salsa, some mild salsas. That one, that's a super spicy variation. All right. Um, this should be great for me. This is a. Uh, this is just turning into a hippo. <laughs> turning into a hippo, I'm going to take a full, a huge swath of the center. Maybe I should have played d5. d5 would have been interesting. Yeah, this, this is problematic for him. I think we got something, uh, we got something cooking here, boys. Tons of space. Say what you want about the bird. You can't say you don't get your, your fair share of space with it. This position is, is brilliant. He really he can't do anything here. If he plays this, I do this. If he pushes this, I'll just continue developing. Eventually, he's going to have to try to strike in the center. But when he does, he's going to have to give me more space in the other direction. Y'all see that? Like if e6, d5, then I can play e5. The only way for his position to be flexible is for him to never try to encroach and gain some of the space back. How long has it been my turn for? Have I just been monologuing that long? Here I was just having like a, a heart to heart. <laughs> I was just having a heart to heart and I didn't notice that my time was just, my time was running. Uh, all right. Take, play d5. He's going to put his knight on c5. I, th I feel like I'm still better, though. Um, park the bishop on g5. Okay, I'm going to play b4. This looks fantastic. Um, just encroaching on the territory here. I need to eventually reroute my knight to this square. This square is very weak here. Oh, so that's what he's going for. Let me play rook b1. Rook b1, if I could... Okay, yeah, he's he's being a wise guy. <laughs> he's being a wise... Ooh, look at this. Knight e1, knight c2. I like that a lot. Kicking his rook out, also getting my knight closer to this f5 square. I really like that move. And yeah, actually also insulating the A-file. His rooks are not going to have anything to do over on the A-file. This is a fun game. We're waiting here. 
I'm really careful to go on more monologues because the thing is, is when I go on a monologue, I don't notice that they made a move. I'm busy giving like a, a positional masterclass. Okay, knight comes to f5, perfect, brilliant. Let's play bishop f2, gonna play for c5 soon. Queen is also gonna hot foot it over to h3. All right, that's interesting. Um, I like knight b5 a lot. Attacking this, if he wants to double my pawns, that's fine because we're gonna be opening up a weakness on the c file. Also, then my rooks can come in. Look at that. Rook comes to c1. Okay, let's play queen h3. Queen g6, I think knight e7. Things are starting to get very uncomfortable for him. If I play knight d6, no, no knight d6 yet. Just continue holding things. All right, knight is coming to g6. Play rook b3, knight g6, I have queen h5. He's not getting out. He's not untangling just yet. And actually, wow, this is, yeah, rook h3 is looking very scary. Okay, wait here. I'll take knight e7. Attacking this, rook e8, I play knight takes c7. Finally. Finally, the tactics come to fruition. I'm like, a, I'm like one of those farmers that planted seeds many moons ago, and I'm finally able to reap the fruit. <laughs> All right, uh, let's play rook e3. I just gotta, I gotta hurry up. I really gotta hurry up. Just pushing this pawn, pushing this pawn to the end zone. Let's play rook f3. Staying out of the way, maintaining my time advantage. Rook takes f6, okay. There we go. Uh, let's play rook f1. All right, this should be over. No idea what he's up to. All right, almost got flagged that that time. Uh, but yeah, we got we got some points. How much rating did I gain? Don't tell me I just broke even the entire. <laughs> I think I maybe made like one point. Let me let me look it up. Yeah, as y'all can tell, that the closer it gets to midnight, the more philosophical I get. I feel like my banter, <laughs> my banter at this point was definitely a lot more, uh, just a lot more philosophical, a lot more interesting. Wow! So I just—that's crazy. So I start at twenty-eight forty-one and I end at twenty-eight forty-one. Um, I definitely think I learned some things though, and y'all do have to keep in mind that game that I got slaughtered, that game that I just got completely destroyed in the the timing of. I just, I've known about that line and I have just procrastinated analyzing it. I need to analyze it. I'm gonna do it over the next few days and I'm gonna come back swinging. So thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a great day. I'll see y'all tomorrow.